All right, so today the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to compile in Windows using Visual Studio 2017 uh, Trinity Core 335A. I'm going to assume you already have Trinity Core downloaded, but you've got to be careful because when you download or clone Trinity Core, by default it is 7.3.2. So we must make sure we have the right revision, the right branch. We want to do Wrath of the Lich King. So first we have to check what branch we are on. If I can learn how to type. It says we're on master. You can see by the little star up there. So we need to check out 3.3.5 takes a couple of seconds the faster your internet is the faster this goes my internet's horrible running on DSL I live in the middle of nowhere price I have to pay so now we have the right branch so we don't need this open anymore we're gonna start with CMake we have to browse to our folder I keep everything in the downloads folder because I'm lazy Where and there's Trinity Core. Select the folder. I make a work folder on drive C, that way it keeps it separate. And we just run configure. Make sure use default native compiler to selected and Visual Studio 15 2017. I'm not going to show you how to do 64 bit because it always errors on me no matter what I do. So I do 32 bit, it works. I don't see any performance differences. <coughs> Hopefully you got this far without any errors. Configuration is done. On my machine it's a little slow. My computer's old. Hoping to upgrade soon. Anyways, I installed MySQL 64-bit and that's a problem. Uh, it won't work with the 32-bit stuff so I had to download the include folder and the libs and an exe. Uh, there's a link below where I'm offering all those files for you Anyways to change that you have to click on advanced up here and Scroll down until you see my SQL stuffs and you have to change the location of the exe file here Which for me I put it in drive C under my SQL libs and there's the exe file Got to change the include folder same location, MySQL libs, and there's the include. Select the folder and your .lib file. And we want the 32 bit. This is where we get to choose. Here, this is 64 bit. Can't use that. Go into lib and select it. Now, when you're done with that, you have to hit configure again. The configuration should only take a couple of seconds. And now that that's done, we click Generate. This generates the SLN file and a few other files, which you can see here. Creates all this fun stuff. Don't need to know about all that anymore. CMake added this awesome option to open the project. When you click it, Visual Studio will open up. All right, your project should be loaded now. Uh, by default, this stuff on the right is usually on the left. I move it there because I'm old school and that's where it was in the first Visual Studio I ever used. Don't really have to worry about that over there. What we need to do is we need to change it from debug mode to release with debug mode. Now I always go over here to build and configuration manager and I change all of it to rel with deb info close that you are ready to compile just click on build and build solution it's very simple it'll run for a while uh, assuming everything goes right you won't have any errors well that took a while to complete 22 succeeded no failed to skip the skipped is the install which is over here on the right in order to do the install 
it puts it in program files x86 Trinity Core most of the time it will error because it doesn't have write permissions we'll test it and see what happens you right click on install and click build it will attempt to build if it errors which it did then you have to manually transfer files so we're done with Visual Studio and CMake now we have to go to your work folder everything is going to be under bin and release with dev info you have your auth server you have your extractors and your world server for the server itself you just need auth server you need world server and you need the config files you can copy those and go into your Trinity Core folder. It made it for you, but put nothing in there. Oh, do it for all items. Now you have your server. You will have to dig up a couple of small files later. One from OpenSSL and one from MySQL you'll need these two files in the OpenSSL Win32 folder which you should have already installed it would have compiled without it you're going to want to copy those and put them in here and if I remember correctly you need the DLL file from here <coughs> and that's how you get your server set up check out my next video on how to create maps v maps m maps and dbc files and proper ways of setting up your config files don't forget to subscribe and give me a like if you get a chance